Are you a crafter that loves to create Christmas cards, but you find that Christmas seems to come a little bit sooner every year? Today I'm here to share some of my top tips and techniques on how you can create these beautiful, one-of-a-kind Christmas cards the easy way and there's no coloring involved. Isn't this stunning? So we're going to learn how to do an ombre uh, stamping technique stamping three different colors on this silhouette angel. Isn't that so pretty? And we're going to create this card together. Before we get started, we're gonna share some more samples of what you can do with this beautiful, joyous Noel collection. So if you are that crafter that loves to create those one-of-a-kind cards without doing any coloring, but you're not sacrificing the beauty and elegance of the Christmas season, this is your chance to get started and learn how you can create these beautiful one-of-a-kind cards the easy way. Now to get started, I'm going to be using three different color combinations to stamp this angel and we're gonna do an embossing technique on top that is super pretty. Now I am using the angels from the Joyous Angel Collection and I'm featuring the Starry Noel Angel. Within this set you get a really what we call a bold angel. There's this beautiful Noel and dove as well. At the very end I'm gonna show some more samples and examples of what you can do that plus some other ways you can use the products within this collection. So, to get started, when you ink up a bold image that you don't have to color, what I want you to do is get your three colors that you want to create with. Um, today we're gonna to be using the deep purple, and I'm going to use that in the center. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I hold my ink pad a little bit at an angle when I am inking this area. And you can see on this um, bold ink, or bold stamp, not bold ink, that this is um, covering this entire centerpiece. So I just kind of hold it at an angle, I don't go flat down, and I just make sure that everything is covered in the middle that I want to. Now I'll come in with my sky blue, which is my lightest color, and we're going to blend that in the top. Now this one I am going down flat because it is being stamped and going off the top, if that makes sense. And you can pretty much see that this is pretty blended. Um, and if you do have a sharp line in there, don't worry about it. The embossing technique that we're doing kind of covers that. The last color that we are using is Night Sky. And this one we're gonna use at the, at the base. So we're gonna start kind of in the uh, bottom and work our way up and just blend that into the purple and just kind of go back and forth a little bit. So this is a great way to do that ombre uh, color stamping technique very quickly and easily um, and it does the coloring for you so you don't have to spend a lot of time coloring your images just give it some firm even pressure lift off and do you see that beautiful image isn't that just so stunning now if you want to do the embossing technique that i'm going to share with you what i want you to do is you're going to be able to just stamp this right on top now if you want to make sure you're a little bit more accurate with um, stamping this image and lining it up, you could have stamped this angel right at the corner. I forgot to do that, but that is just something if you wanted to have it lined up very easily. Um, now, if you're doing this at home, go ahead, clean your ink. I'm not gonna do that just for the sake of time in the video, um, but we're gonna use the Versamark ink and just go right over the top of this image. And we're going to add a bridal embossing powder on top. So it creates this really beautiful a silhouette angel. So we're gonna go ahead and just stamp this on top. So again, um, since this is a clear ink, you could have just gone ahead and um, just basically lined this up with the corner if you wanted to, but you don't have to be super specific. Now you could use a misty or you could use a stamp positioner, um, but I just wanted to um, show you how you can do this at home. So you can go ahead and then take your uh, tidy tray and your embossing powder and just sprinkle the bridal embossing powder on top. Now once that is done, you're just gonna go ahead and heat emboss it. I'm just going to heat emboss just a little bit on the top and then we'll show you how the finished die cut out angel looks. So as that melts, you will see that that just really adds that sparkle, adds a little bit of that muted tone. Isn't that just so pretty? 
And when you die cut that out, you won't see that there's a little bit of a shift in those stars at the bottom, which is really, really pretty. I absolutely love that. And you'll see what I mean when you'll pull up these die cut images over here. So you'll see how this is already die cut out. See how pretty that is? Uh, so that's just a great way to utilize that um, at home. So again, you can just have some fun stamping that and if you want to use a stamp positioner to do that double stamping, you totally could. Or you can just stamp that image by lining it up to the corner and then do the double stamp on top. So hopefully that makes sense for you. Okay, so to put this card base together, we did use two of these angels. Um, so you'll want to do two. You can use different color combinations if you wanted to. And then you're going to layer them on this decorative, beautiful flap. Just absolutely love how this comes out. So the next step we're gonna do is create this card base. Within the Joyous Noel collection, you will find this beautiful Noel decorative die. This has two pieces, super versatile. It reminds me of like an angel wing or a heart. However, you can totally use this for Christmas as well as other occasions. So don't just think, oh, I have to use this as Christmas because right here, here you'll see it was a flap at the base of the card, you open this up, there's a decorative piece in the bottom. So lots of ways and vari variations. You can use it as a center opening in a card as well. So with this one, if you want to have that beautiful side opening, all I want you to do is cut your card base, run this through the machine, and just have the edge of this die just kind of off the fold. You'll run that through, and once that comes out, just peel this die off. You'll use your scissors and just clip on each end and that will create your card flap in very quickly. Your next step is going to be adding the center and the outside decorative edge. So the center, what I did for the inside is I just used some of the beautiful Joyous Noel paper and layered this on the background. So we're going to go ahead, just glue this down. Now as you are watching, as you can see, this is a great way to just create those stunning uh, Christmas cards without too much dimension. It's perfect for mailing and you can use this for all sizes. As you can see at the end, we have all sizes of cards from small to large, to whether you are mailing or hand giving, you've got some options with that. Now this is the Joyous Noel background. One of the gals that has been designing these cards in house, she said, oh my gosh, Emily, I could have used this background on everything. It is so versatile, you can do so much with it. And as I show you cards, you'll see that it was used on so many backgrounds so you can add it to your papers and just have a lot of fun with that. This one was stamped with gold Encore ink and embossed with a vintage embossing powder which is really, really pretty. Um, and it's just kind of that subtle background um, for this card base. So your next step is just gonna be adding the decorative piece to the top. And there's many different ways you could do that. Um, here we added a little bit of embossing powder on top so you can kind of mix and match and add this flap like you desire. So I did want to have a whole piece, so what we did is we cut two of this, one with cardstock and one with our decorative paper. Just go ahead and layer those two on top of each other. Sponge around the paper edges, and then you can add this to this piece on top, and it will stick out the back just a little bit. So you're gonna go ahead and add this to your card base. Now, the Joyous Noel collection is one of those timeless, classic Christmas collections that you'll find yourself using time and time again over the years in many different ways. And we'll show you some samples of the endless creativity of what you can do with this at the very end. Now this one, we just took one of the neutral background papers from the Joyous Noel collection, just offset that, and then you can add your glitter if you wanted to. Lots of ways to just embellish that. Now we did add a a um, little bit of a crease, a score line in here, so that this stands up just a little bit from the background of the card. So we're gonna go ahead and just offset these layers. At this point, if you wanted to add glitter using your uh, yellow sponge foam and some glitter, you could totally do that, totally up to you, or you could use a bridal embossing powder and add some embossing to this. So our next step is just going to be adding this to your card base. So you get to choose how you want to add your glitter, your sparkle, and how much of that you want to apply at this point. Isn't this so pretty? I just love, love how quickly and how easily this comes together. And it still looks like you spent so much time creating it. And all that's left is just to add those angels 
and um, add that dimension. Now with these angels, if you wanted to bring their wings up a little bit, add a little bit of a curl in there, you totally can, totally up to you on how you want to add those. But we did add these so that they are kind of offset from each other. So I am going to grab a foam dot and pop it right on top of this one and we'll kind of temporarily put these two together and do something similar to that. Isn't that just so pretty? Love, love how that turns out. Then I'm going to use my hot glue and just add a little bit of glue. You could use foam dots, you can use whatever you prefer, uh, but we're going to add that to this card base. And then you can add your sentiments. You can add some um, extra embellishment with cheese cloth if, cloth if you wanted to. You can add it, some extra stars on the top. You can add your sentiments from the paper collection. We'll show you that in just a little bit. Or you can also use your stamped sentiments as well. It's totally up to you. So that's the basics on how you can quickly and easily create a beautiful one-of-a-kind Christmas card without spending so much time that you really don't get Christmas cards created and you still experience the joy with that. Now before I go, I did want to show you all the different samples that have been created just to in inspire you so that you can maximize your creativity. So here is that same angel and you have it stamped on gold cardstock, so it's kind of that silhouette coming from the back using that very same die and then adding the word Noel on top, um, which is really, really pretty. Within this set, we do have an additional angel, which comes from the Joyous Noel Angel set. This one is so pretty. This one you will color lightly if you wanted to. It's just add a little bit of sponging and you can add little vellum wings. So don't forget to kind of really get that angelic look with vellum wings. And then you can add the harp with the gold Lux cardstock. This harp is included in this set and it's such a pretty accent on many of the cards I'll be showing you um, today. So this one is one that's super pretty as well. We'll be doing a Facebook Live on this one. Um, again, you've got the silhouette stamp with just two different types of blue, your gold outline, super, super pretty. Here is that Noel with the open angel and you've got some circles cut into that card front. Isn't that so beautiful? I just love all the variations you get with just using a couple stamps and dies. This one, you've got that gold harp and that beautiful angel paired with some Christmas points at us. And remember that um, silhouette angel we stamped? You can also use it as a background with just using the die cut piece, the reverse and the uh, focal image to get that glittery inside and the sponging on the outside. I just love, love how that comes up. Here's another variation of the two different angel sets together with the harp in the center, the little dove, and a piece of that background sentiment that we were talking about that you can use for so many different things that we used on this one. Um, that one is in there as a banner as well. So lots of variations. Here is that gold harp again, and then using that beautiful decorative background as the card base. So lots of variations in ways that you can use it in non-traditional colors, more traditional, and just have a lot of fun um, creating and pairing this together. Here's another one that I absolutely love, just the simplicity of gold and white with lots and lots of glitter. So you could um, stamp this in just a plain gold and heat emboss it with a glittery gold embossing powder, same way with the background and the dove. Isn't that so, so stunning? Or you could do some like pastels using those poinsettias, using that um, angelic background and the dove up on the corner. So lots of variations just based on how you want to maximize your creativity this Christmas season. I can't wait for you to experience the joy of creating these and the joy that your friends and family will experience receiving them. So again, this collection has a Starry Noel Angel a stamp and die set so that beautifully cuts each one of these out. And then we also have that Joyous Noel Angel stamp die and the heart the not a heart harp <laughs> and then we've got that noel decorative die and the angel background now before i go i wanted to share the paper collection as you know you'll use so many of these for your christmas cards this year there are sentiments in here and sentiments galore you can just cut these apart really easily add those to your cards there's also images in here oh i just love this background 
There's also images in here that are pre-colored for you that you can just die cut out, add some glitter to them, plus some card front panels. So with this paper collection, many crafters will get two or more so that they can really maximize their card making um, this year. So I can't wait for you to experience the joy of creating with a joyous Noel collection. If you don't have this yet, make sure to get yours ordered. I've added the links below for quick and easy ordering. And tell us what you like about it. Share it with us on Facebook and social media. Thank you so much for joining me today. And hey, if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to do that so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye.